the restriction enzyme free in the cell is a fairly sort of open structure. Um, a lot of the, these restriction en enzymes act as dimers, that is to say they, they are two identical subunits um, that bind to each other, and they they, they have an open open structure that will encounter DNA molecule and close around it. And that creates um, either a sort of screw twist or a, or a, a a cylinder that will then slide along DNA. It will spin, spin down the DNA. As it's spinning down the, the, the DNA, it's encountering DNA sequences the whole time. And um, for the most part, those sequences will be the wrong sequence, and they, they will attach to them. But just now and again, when they encounter the right sequence, um, the shape will be right, the electrostatics will be right, and the enzyme will bind to the sequence. It stops, it remains bound, and um, and they can remain bound for very long periods of, 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 of time. But normally what would happen would be they would, they would bind and then immediately catalyze reaction within, within a second or two. They would cleave both strands of the DNA. And having done that, then their substrate is destroyed and then they, they would fall off. And they would go into the open conformation again, reattach, and then continue sliding. This is a, this is the, um, this is a structure of a restriction enzyme called MVA1. Um, what, you'll, what you'll notice is that, that, that this, this has, a sh has a shape somewhat like a hand. It's, it's sort of, you could imagine this to be a thumb. These, these could be fingers. And, uh, and it has this shape because this is going to grasp a DNA molecule. And it's, it's, it's going to grasp the molecule. It's going to, once it's grasped it, it's going to slide along it until it encounters its recognition sequence. Pink is without the DNA, so this is the free enzyme on its own. Um, as it would exist in the cell when it was about to encounter a DNA molecule but hadn't. And now in orange we're looking at the structure of precisely the same protein when it when it has encountered DNA. The structure changes when the when when it attaches to DNA. Notice this loop here and this loop here. Both of them close. So in orange now, we have the structure of exactly the same protein, but now this is bound to DNA. You notice tremendous movements have occurred. This enzyme has wrapped itself almost completely around the DNA. This is the DNA molecule that the enzyme is crystallized with. This has the sequence CCAOTGG, which is the recognition sequence of this enzyme. Now I put in the enzyme, and you'll notice that it's the enzyme is, is intimately associated with the, with the major groove of the DNA. This is the surface structure now of the, of the enzyme when it's bound to DNA. Um, the protein has almost completely encircled the DNA. There's, there's just a small groove in here which is following the contour of the double helix. And the protein follows the helical turns. And almost completely encloses the, the DNA.